Hello everyone and welcome to the weekly energy update for the week of March 24th, 2024. I'm Renee Spears, a spirit guide channeler and spiritual mentor, and I'm coming to you from a snowy Bozeman, Montana. Every Sunday I share the energy for the week ahead and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And eclipse season is here. This is what we've been building toward all year. The eclipse energy has been increasing for the last couple of weeks as we've been leading up to this eclipse. And the energy of last week's equinox has supercharged the energy even more. Eclipse season is when things happen. So tomorrow's lunar eclipse in Libra opens the eclipse portal and the portal closes with the solar eclipse on April 8th. We're entering a two-week eclipse portal of powerful energies when rapid changes, aha moments, intense experiences, and life twists and turns happen, all to help us align with our path and our purpose in life. When the eclipse happens, we feel it. The effects of the changes and decisions made in these two weeks shift the course of our lives, and we'll be feeling them in the weeks and months after eclipse season ends. So I want to start today by reassuring you that there's nothing to fear with the eclipses. Yeah, things are shifting, sometimes in mysterious ways, but it all makes sense in the grand scheme of things. Spiritually, eclipse seasons are powerful periods for transformation, introspection, and change. And they're unpredictable, making sweeping changes in our lives. They help guide us back to our destined path if we've gotten too far off course. And that's because they're tied to the lunar nodes of fate. The north node of fate points to what we're here to learn, develop, and expand into. The south node points to our innate gifts and talents, where we feel a sense of mastery because we've been there, done that before. The south node also represents our limiting beliefs. So eclipses trigger the nodes, and that's why they can be so powerful, pushing us forward into a new destiny or allowing for deep letting go. This eclipse is on the south node, so it's all about releasing those limiting beliefs and things we've outgrown and that we're done with. A lunar eclipse is a super potent full moon, and it's more about endings and releasing, while solar eclipses are usually about new opportunities. Lunar eclipses can only occur during the full moon, when the sun, moon, and earth align so that the moon is blocked by the earth's shadow. And while all eclipses are unpredictable, the sign that it happens in can give us some clues as to the theme and the energies of that eclipse. And this one is in Libra. Libra is the sign of relationships and partnerships. And Libra is ruled by Venus, the love planet. On eclipse day, there's a powerful Venus-Saturn conjunction, sextile Jupiter. This is positive energy that helps us heal our hearts and rethink our relationships. This eclipse is going to illuminate the parts of our relationships that we've overlooked, we've ignored, and we've outgrown. This is the time to think about whether your relationships are working for you or not. Relationships are shifting and ending right now. Yes, our primary love partnerships, but all our relationships. And it's okay to let them go. I recently had to let a 20-year friendship go. Man, it's hard. But we just aren't the same people we were when we met 20 years ago. Our energy has shifted in different ways. And that's what happens in relationships. Your energy just doesn't align anymore. We vibe out of relationships. Nobody's done anything wrong. You're just not vibing the same anymore. And when that happens, it's time to let it go and make room for people you do vibe with. Once again, this could be your love partnership, but it also could be friendships, coworkers, neighbors, family. It's okay to let relationships evolve and change and leave. Also during this eclipse, we have an abundance of planets and water. Mars, Saturn, Venus, and Neptune are all in Pisces. That means this is probably going to be a very emotional eclipse with a lot of internal processing going on. Pisces loves being in its own dream world. Pisces is also a sign that can self-sacrifice and be a bit of a martyr. So this might be a time when you realize how you've been being your own worst enemy. But once you recognize those patterns, it's also a time when you can let them go. So if we put this all together, (laughs) this week we'll experience some unexpected events and faded twists and turns. 
focused on relationships and partnerships, and releasing limiting beliefs in general, but particularly around relationships. And it'll be emotional. (laughs) Sounds like fun. (laughs) So this energy is so powerful that we want to be emotionally prepared. And the best way to embrace this time is to relax and reflect. Take things slow and pay attention to what comes up. Eclipses are periods of faded transformation and spiritual growth when we're more connected to the divine. So if you're busy and you're not paying attention, you might miss stuff. This is a time for meditation, journaling, sitting and thinking, reflecting and releasing. Lunar eclipses like full moons are revealing. They expose the truth, often in a dramatic way. So you may be surprised or maybe caught off guard by some of the things you learn about yourself and others. But just accept what's revealed. You can't fight this knowledge. You can't unsee it. You can only take it in and trust that it's landing in your life at the exact moment you need it. We're getting an energetic push forward right now. Whether we want to or not, we're moving forward. Sometimes this forward motion can feel disruptive to your nervous system, and you may resist it at first, but there's no moving backward. So if and when the lunar eclipse reveals something in your life that needs to be released, find the least dramatic way to do so and then move the fuck on. This is a very powerful time with faded events happening. The lunar eclipse is this week, Next week, Mercury goes retrograde, and then the week after that is the total solar eclipse, and that's a biggie. So remember, all of this is happening for our highest good. We're leveling up, so there's nothing to be afraid of. Just relax, reflect, and roll with it. And that is it for the week. My Women's Wisdom Circle starts on Wednesday. If you want to trust your intuition more, develop your psychic abilities, and connect more with the universe, I hope you'll join me. I will be sharing how to communicate with your spirit guides. A guest will talk about dreams and interpret some dreams for us. And our last meeting is on the summer solstice, and we'll celebrate with a summer solstice ritual. So once again, I hope you'll join me. You can learn more and sign up at Abundology.com, and I'll also put a link in the show notes. It is snowing here today. It's gorgeous. So I am going to snuggle under a blanket in front of the fire and relax and reflect. So thank you for listening, everyone, and sharing the podcast with a friend. Have a great week, and I will talk to you again next week.